Is my balance bad because I have hypermobility? Now, interestingly, in the research, there actually is quite a bit of research that people who have diagnosed hypermobility conditions also have problems with their balance, particularly the side to side balance. And so what this means is that while they do tend to be related, you need to work on it more. And sometimes I'll get clients and older people, people with all sorts of different conditions. And the answers a lot of times that I get are the same. My balance is bad. You know, I've always had bad balance. And if you fall into that category, you really want to move yourself forward and not just be resolved to have balance problems because balance is actually one of the things we can control, we can change and we can do a lot with. And so you want to use that as motivation for why you have to work on your balance. You have to practice, you have to get better because if you don't, what happens is um, you're either a higher fall risk and we all know that falls never lead to good things. It's always bad outcomes. And the other thing is you start taking yourself out of life. If you're worried about your balance, if you're worried about falling, you are much more likely to not do things that you might otherwise want to do because you're worried about your safety. So I have kind of put together my top three favorite balance exercises and really most anyone can do these regardless of what level you're at. Um, and the first thing you want to think about if you're going to start a balance program is safety is always super important. So anytime you're working on your balance, you never, ever, ever want to put yourself in a position where you can fall. And working on balance is also working on stability. It's working on your control. So the difference is that if you're trying to save your balance and you're all over the place, um, you might hold your, your position, but that's not helpful for any functional activity. So if you're on ice and that's your go-to to hold your balance, you're gonna end up on the ground. So we wanna practice what we can use, not practice a circus act. So when you're working on your balance, regardless of the exercise, you wanna be in a position where your ground is solid. You don't have animals that are gonna run and take your feet out from under you. Um, you wanna have a wall, a countertop, something that is not gonna move that you can use for extra support if you need it. Now, I often get questions about, do you practice your balance in shoes or barefoot? Shoes is a better place to start. It gives you more support, especially if you have good arch support in those shoes, and that's an easier place to start first. So start with your shoes as it gets easier, then you can work into barefoot where you have to use more muscles in your foot. Now, once you have that position, that set up for where you're gonna be, um, the, one of the first exercises I like people to do is what we call a static exercise. It means you're just trying to hold your balance in place. You're not trying to go anywhere. So to do that, you can either do, I think you can see this, both feet together. You can do close together if, um, if you have quite a bit of trouble. You can switch to doing one foot in front of the other, or you can switch to doing standing on one foot. Now, which one you do really just depends on which one is challenging for you. So you want something where you feel like you're working, but it's not so hard that you feel like you're struggling. Now with this, you're gonna start using um, basically a finger. And it's amazing if you have a finger on something, either your counter, a wall, balance is so much easier, okay? Use that finger and then gradually bring it away. So that way you're getting that extra support and you're retraining your balance that this is where you not you want to be. You're not, this is not where you want to be. Okay. The other aspect that you're going to start bringing in is we're going to retrain what we want your body to do if you fall. 
And so what that is, is if you start to lose your balance, I want you to put your other foot down. We want you to step and catch yourself. So if you're in that, if you step in that gopher hole, we live in Montana, um, then you keep going. You just put your foot down, you catch yourself and you keep walking. If you um, are used to using your back or something else to catch yourself, what that looks like is when you lose your balance, you start to do this. It's really hard to recover from that and you usually just end up on your back. Um, that's not a good way to recover and fall. So as you're practicing these, remember, use those things that help support that and gradually work away. And if you do you lose your balance, use that foot, put it down, practice that step response. So that way, um, when you're in those situations, that works for you also. Um, the second exercise, so the first one, um, not moving, it, um, either feet together, one foot in front of the other, or standing on one foot. The second one is what we call a, a dynamic movement. That means you wanna be walking. So we're gonna do one foot in front of the other, walking forward and walking backward. Now with all of these, you're controlling your trunk position. You're not dropping onto, I'm coming toward you. You're not dropping onto your hip. Um, you're not using a lot of movement up here. You're nice and stable. So that way as you're coming forward um, or backward, everything is moving together. And then the third exercise is uneven ground. So to do that, you got lots of options. I'm gonna show you a couple things here. So you can use a mat. Anything that's squishy, has some texture to it, is gonna make you have to stabilize. So, and you can do those same ones like standing on one foot. Um, it's just gonna give you a little bit more of that uneven movement. One of my favorites is um, decorative couch cushions work really well. They're a little more firm than like a, a bed pillow. Um, they don't tend to squish to nothing. And you can use them to give you some support in either direction. So you can adjust them, roll them. You can kind of find something that's gonna give you that instability so that way you have to work a little bit harder. Now there are lots of um, balance training tools that you can get to, balance mats, uh, balance discs, I love those. And just walking over here, you have things all the way up to um, a BOSU, which is what this is. And you're definitely gonna wanna use a wall for this. But again, it gives you that unstable ground that you can um, work on and you work on controlling. It makes your whole leg have to work and it really challenges your balance. And so notice even as I start to wobble here, I come back, you add the little finger and things are, are a lot easier. Um, BOSUs are great, they tend to be more expensive and they tend to take up more space, but there are lots of um, smaller, very reasonably priced things that you can get if you're wanting something else to help you with a regular balance program. And lastly, how often? Balance does better with little bits throughout the day. So rather than doing, um, you know, 15 minutes twice a week, you are gonna do so much better if you can do um, two to three minutes a couple of times a day. So an easy way to do this is match it up with something you're gonna do anyway. Washing your hands, brushing your teeth, you can do it talking on the phone, um, conferences, but work on that, that balance just for a little bit and then you know, don't worry about it, but come back to it. It's that repetition that really makes that better. And repetition with intention. If you are using bad compensation techniques, if you're locking out your hip, rotating around, stabilizing with your other leg, um, 
we're creatures of habit. What we do is what you're going to do in the future. So if you practice the habits, then when you go to, um, when you're walking on that uneven ground, you're not gonna have them in place. So make sure that when you are working on it, you're trying to work on your balance and, and working on that stability so that you have that for the future.